I've forgotten my camera, so I'm filming on my phone. But Ollie and I Hello. have come out for one last hurrah after the news that we are going into tier three and theatres have to close after tomorrow night. So Les Mis has one last show. Yes. Boobies. So luckily we had tickets to the Christmas Carol. So I'm seeing some lovely friends in this. And then the theatre's closed. Gutted. I'm probably gonna cry quite a lot through this show. Yeah. Rubbish. Rubbish. I want to start off this video by apologising for the terrible quality of the clips that came before this one. Um, I just completely forgot my camera. And I also want to apologise that I think this next ramble, I've not scripted anything and I'm going to have to like heavily edit. What's to come is just going to be sad. <laughs> I'm very sad. I feel like I've woken up after a breakup. You wake up and you have that blissful moment of not remembering and then all of a sudden having the knowledge of what happened the day before just crash down on you. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, London is being pushed into tier three, which is understandable considering rising number of cases and all of that. Like I completely understand why it's happened. I was surprised we were in tier two in the first place, if I'm completely honest, but being in tier two meant that we could perform to 50% capacity, socially distanced, with a mask wearing audience. Um, and as you will have seen from all of these videos in Vlogmas, um, the precautions that theatre have been taking have been extensive. These producers have gone to huge expense and have, have lost money on these shows playing at 50% capacity um, just to give the theatre community and the industry some kind of hope and to give actors and crew and lighting and sound and front of house, um, you know, everyone who works in the theatre a job over Christmas. So it was amazing that we got as far as we did. But of course there were rumours a few days ago that London would be moving into tier three and we all kind of prepared ourselves for the worst and then the worst happened yesterday and we all got the news that London was moving into tier three and therefore theatres would have to close. So tonight, this is Tuesday, as I'm filming this, um, tonight is our final night of Les Mis. Um, hopefully it will be able to reopen. Our run was meant to continue on till February, so hopefully we'll get to do somewhat of the end of the run, fingers crossed, um, but who knows. <laughs> Uh, everything's just so up in the air that I think we've all sort of just been living day by day and just going off of the news that we have at any given moment. And it sucks. There's no two ways about it. It sucks. It's really, really shit. And there's so much that I could say in this video <laughs> about how angry I am at our government for just not being clear and concise from the beginning. And I'm one of the lucky ones. Like, I know how privileged I am to have this lovely house, to have a garden, to, you know, have worked through some of lockdown. Um, you know, I am one of the lucky ones, but when I talk about the theatre industry, I'm not just talking about me and the show that I work in and the people that I directly work with. I'm talking about the theatre industry as a whole, like up and down the country. And we were lucky to have been put into tier two in London and to have had at least a week's worth of shows. I was hopeful that us proving in the West End with the few theatres that were open and, um, working in a safe environment that it was possible and therefore it would have filtered throughout the rest of the country. Whilst we were lucky to have a week of shows, it doesn't make it any less painful for all of the people who are losing their jobs yet again, just before Christmas as well. And I, I understand, I know why it's happening. I understand that COVID cases are rising and people are still dying from this. You know, it's still, as prevalent as it was back in March. And you know, we've just been going off of government guidelines and government rules ever since, which is why we were given the go ahead to open. But what's frustrating is now that theatres are being penalised, whilst busy shopping centres and shops are still allowed to remain open, schools and universities are allowed to remain open. So that's why the theatre industry is, is angry. And I wanna specify angry at the government for just not like I said, not being clear, not being concise, from putting all of these rules in place that literally make zero sense. But I acknowledge the severity of the situation. Like I know that people are dying. I understand what COVID is. You know, I'm not 
oblivious and I'm not blind to that. I do understand. And I, again, like I said, I know I'm one of the lucky ones who like financially hasn't been at panic stations during this. You know, I've had savings that I've been able to fall back on and I'm in a nice house and I have a nice garden and I've not been alone because I've been isolated with Oliver. And I have family close enough that we can, you know, scream at each other from the end of driveways. But that doesn't minimize how frustrating and how painful it is to watch your job be lost and to watch the industry that you were a part of and that you love so much and an industry that contains people who aren't as lucky as I am close friends of mine who are really struggling it's hard and it sucks it sucks and of course other industries are in the same position or have had it harder but this isn't a competition I'm not in the business of compare and contrast I am not gonna have an argument with someone about how your pain is worse than someone else's pain all pain is valid. We're all allowed to acknowledge the fact that this has been a terrible year for everyone involved. Yes, some people have had it worse than other people, but we are all allowed to despair at what a shambles this year has been. Last night, I went to see The Christmas Carol and it was unbelievable. I had the best time. I performed it a few years ago um, in 2016, but it was just a one night concert back then um, and we rehearsed for like two weeks and so there was just so much of it that I'd forgotten because it was sort of in my short-term memory. So seeing it all again last night and in such a... Um, it, when we did it, we all had our scripts on stage and we did it very much like a one-off concert. Whereas this was like a fully staged concert with costumes and set pieces and, you know, choreography and it was just amazing and not once did I kind of go oh they're doing that because that keeps them socially distanced I didn't even notice the fact that everyone was socially distanced it was just done in such a clever clever way and I just loved it I loved every second of it and I cried from start to finish partly because it was an amazing show it's Alan Menken's music and I had so many friends in it more friends than I realized like people kept coming on stage and I was like oh my god I know all of these people and then I got to see them be amazing um but also because we just had the news that they would be closing tomorrow we would be closing tomorrow tonight now so yeah tonight's gonna be horrible horrible and it's gonna be horrible to say goodbye to everyone not knowing again when we're gonna be back, if we're gonna be back, and then to walk out of the theater and bump into Christmas shoppers. I just want the rules to make sense. So this was cheery, fa la 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 la. And I wish I had more positive things to say. I'm still optimistic that we can get back before the Lamers run was meant to end, but right now it's just, it just stings. It just stings quite a bit. Those are my thoughts. And I will see you tomorrow, which again, preparing you now, will be a, an emotional vlog because I will be vlogging the final show of Les Mis before Christmas. And I will see you tomorrow where I warn you now, I'm giving you a heads up that it will probably be quite an emotional vlog because I will be taking my camera to work with me today to film this last show. I'm sending you all love um, and positivity. Please hang in there whilst our government makes a huge mess of things. Lots of love.